Hi everyone, I'm privileged today to shoot this video from very beautiful nature as you can see all around us. I love nature. It has, um, it has that beautiful feel and um, I'm, just, I'm just reminded of how the works of God are beautiful and they're so, 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 so refreshing. Um, yes, welcome again to our channel. Uh, and um, we've been talking about uh, seeing the women through the lens of God. We've had a look at stories of many women in the Bible. We've had a look at people, uh, women in the Old Testament. And now we, the, the last video I shot in February was about uh, women in the New Testament, just touching on the genealogy of Jesus Christ and how he weaves the story of women in his story. And just to remind us how precious every one of us is to him, whether we love him or we don't love him, Jesus treats us with a lot of love and cherishes every single woman and his biggest his biggest desire is that every single woman will know God, will know the love that God has for them and will experience this love in him. And, um, and I guess that's where we find our identity. You know, we find our identity in the person who has made us. I know many people believe that um, there is no God. There are many people who believe Jesus is not the way. But there is one thing that settles and gives peace and purpose and meaning to our lives is when we know what it is that we were made for. I mean, every creation, <clears throat> not just human beings, but everything created, everything made, is, it's, it makes sense because of the purpose it does. A car makes sense when it's on the road and, it's drive, and, and, and someone is driving it and using it for that purpose. I mean to move from one place to another or any other purpose that that car has been made for and um, as, as women as creation we find our purpose and our joy in our creator so just to encourage you in case you're just there and wondering um, why am I here if that is a question that you are asking why don't you ask your maker? And if you don't know who your maker is, I want to invite you to ask God, to ask God, God, you made me, for those who believe that God made them, but for those of you who don't believe that God made them, I want to invite you to ask God, God, if you made me, and the reason why I'm saying if is because you don't believe that uh, God made you, but I believe uh, creation is sourced from God. God is a creator of everything. Even the ideas that we see out of men and women in this world, that's the work of God. Because God himself put in us brilliant minds, minds that work in such amazing ways to just reflect his glory and his beauty. So yeah, this is just a reminder that first we need to find our creator, to find our purpose, to find meaning in life find joy in life for his glory for God's glory for our joy and for our fulfillment and so that we can be able to to add to that peace that God wanted us to add in this life yeah so God bless you so much and I hope uh, I hope you're doing well I hope you're keeping well and I hope you're seeing how much God loves you especially as we focus on the women and seeing their stories through the life of uh, through the through the bible and seeing their stories through the eyes of god god bless you so much